It was all the wars and bonds that were about to see me go. Yeah.
Everybody okay? It's nice to be here. Is this still called? Um... Spaceland. Spaceland. No, no, not the club. I mean the neighborhood. Yeah, it's still called Silver Lake. They didn't cut it into like another thing like Upper Silver Lake. No? Okay. Everybody okay with the rent? <laughs> Shit is crazy. Is everybody here from California or from other places? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. First one? So you're the only person here from California. Oh, okay, seven people. Everybody else came here from the East Coast. Every month, at the, on the 15th, you're like, it sucks. Oh my God. should I go back to New Jersey? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I don't have a solution either. So, um, let's see, what, I don't have a set list. Hold <laughs> so, um, this song actually came to me, uh, in Los Angeles, of all places. I decided that um, that my wife and I, I wanted to go with my wife to see Paul Simon at the uh, Enormo Bowl. Perhaps. Yeah, sounds right. It was in Hollywood. It was a bowl-shaped thing. And uh, it was his farewell tour. And um, I decided on the 101. I live in Santa Barbara and don't know one thing from the other, you know, like I'm totally lost. Um, and well, I got on the 101 with her, and I was like, well, I guess I should get tickets. She was like, we don't have tickets. <laughs> so somewhere around Ventura, I was able to secure, with, after spending, I don't, maybe like five or six hundred dollars, some tickets to the show. Yeah, because I was like, well, fuck it. I, we're already almost there. And um, when I got into the seat, it was like way in the back. And there was a person next to me. Well, I'm sure we've all been to many shows. And the person, at every, every time Paul Simon would begin a song, she would go, I don't know this one. <laughs> I'm talking like eight or nine songs in the past. I finally was like, uh, listen. You're not gonna know any of these fucking songs <laughs> until the very end. You're gonna know the last one or two. You're like, oh my God, I know this song. And you know, but I do know them and I'm trying to listen to them. And I get, well, I've been on a first date too, but not at the last Paul Simon show. Ever. <laughs> California, like, what the fuck? And my wife was next to me like, yo, 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 be cool, be cool. And just as I got done rebuking this person for bad behavior, Paul Simon goes, you know, if we could just all get along <laughs> as a species, this could be a paradise. And I looked at him and I had the woman next to me and my wife and they both were like. <laughs> so I bashfully got out my iPhone and wrote, wrote down that line and then ended up with this song. He's right. Good song. But she could have been more quiet. <laughs> you know? I was nice. I didn't even say a cuss or anything. I just. just... <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this could be a paradise. <laughs> I wanna ride the river with the river and try to try. We tried to climb the mountain, but we got too high, too high. Like foam from the lip of a rabbit dog, we cling to a promise with lungs full of smog. I wanna ride the river, the river went dry, too dry. Oh my sweet Lord. This could be a paradise, oh, 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 
This could be a paradise Oh, we're skin and bone Our teeth are all gone this could be a paradise I wanna ride the river The river went dry Too dry We tried to climb the mountain But we got too high Too high How low can you go When you're held by the spell Dig a little deeper for a new kind of hell Dig a little deeper for a new kind of hell A new kind of hell I need somebody help, not just anybody, my sweet Lord. You don't call to say you love me anymore, but I need one more chance. She says they're boys and now their blood, it's on my hands, but this could be a pair. This could be a paradise, oh, but we're skin and bone, our teeth are all gone, oh, this could be a paradise, this could be a paradise, but we're skin and bone. Our teeth are all gone, oh, this could be a paradise. It was heaven knowing you. It was heaven knowing you. It was heaven knowing you. It's heaven on you This could be a paradise This could be a paradise We're skin and we're bone Our teeth are all gone Oh, this could be a paradise song real fast and loud you guys that was nuts what that was so good the loud way Yo, that's, you right. Right. that's what i figured out <laughs> like, that's fucking incredible well, i'm not tooting our horn i'm just saying <laughs> that, that i appreciate your compliment that's very kind but what we figured out was you can actually understand what the words are. <laughs> and like we put the record out and then we went to Europe and I think maybe something had broken on the stage or whatever and then we tried it that way and I looked over at Tim. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that song, if we would have recorded it that way, like now I just gauge it all in either college tuition for my kids or diapers. <laughs> you know, I was like, damn. We could have bought so many diapers with the difference in recording fees. And the same thing is actually true for what I believe is the next song on the set. Yes, we did the same damn thing, the record prior. Oh, it makes it imperative that you go to the live show when you record it one way and play it a totally different way. Right? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I still think it's better that way. But why didn't you say something in the studio? I did. <laughs> you did? You just don't remember it. No, I, I didn't. I know. Oh, uh, what do you
be a dude. This song is uh, called Shaky Jesus. It's, it's, it's not about um, being Christian. It's actually about, you know how when you get the initial premise of something wrong, and then you jump into something and, and you're really fucked. So like, well, the original thought was, it's that kind of thing. So it's really more about doubt. Yeah, I'll just sing it. She was the hell, the only hell mama ever raised. In the heat of the September haze and the cold suburban sprawl. She kissed my eyes, she kissed my eyes away. Taught me focus and taught me how to praise like holy at her own all. I come when she calls. Hey, hey. so high we're throwing money in the offering play for a second we set the shaking straight by that fountain at the mall I come when she calls if Jesus loves me now can he see my little sermon somehow I found a little promised land and I'm reaching out to take her hand and drown Cause Jesus loves me now We used to hang, we'd hang them on a chain around our throats Like a promissory note Bible in her drawer. She would stay closed. So heaven help me to turn the clay, make her stay on her knees. Jesus, help us pray, make her come when I call. Make her come when I call. She always came when you call. If Jesus loves me now. Can he sing my little sermon somehow? I found a little promised land and I'm reaching out to take her hand and drown. Cause Jesus loves me now. Loves me now. Holy, holy, holy. I come and change. Come when I call, she always came with you call. If Jesus loves me now, if Jesus loves me now, I found a little promise land and I'm reaching out to take her hand and drown. Cause Jesus loves me now.
for me, as some, like I moved here and I love this state, you know, I'm crazy about it. It's so beautiful, but it, it's kind of like when you go to Paris, you go to Paris and it's a little better if you don't play a show <laughs> because uh, there's a lot of pressure, you know, when you play in California and uh, it always feels a little bit like you're pulling on the, the, the jacket of the, the senior at, in school. Hey, but that's not the point. The point is to come together, and that's what we're doing. I, I want to thank you all for coming out to the show. And, uh, I just want to say real quick, I wrote this song in, in a, actually in a pretty um, positive headspace. But, but most of the vibe of the song is, it comes from knowing how many years I spent in a negative headspace, and uh, it gets it gets bad at points. And I'm sure everybody in the room has had to go through this, whether they've gone through it themselves or a friend. And you're not sure if you even want to keep going at all. And uh, I've been there, and I don't necessarily know. Um, you know, I'm no. I just make up songs, so I don't really know. Where exactly what to say about the matter other than if you are in that kind of dark place it's all right to reach out for help it's all right to seek professional help uh, because your mental health is very very delicate especially in this modern fucked up crazy world that we're living in and, uh, with a, with a, by taking a little bit of a, of a breath when you have those crazy um, urges and just Maybe waiting it out and maybe seeking the help you need. You, you never know. For me, I ended up getting to play music with my brother and with these lovely friends here. I found somebody that, that found things about me to love that I couldn't love. And I ended up with these two beautiful children. So uh, it can turn around. It can turn around. You don't have to go all the way down to the bottom necessarily. So um, if you need help, it's all right. We all need a little help. This song's called Bearing Down. See you when you're old And the one that keeps you old. 
And he was like, oh, you had twins? You should get the really expensive ones. <laughs> I was like, no. He was like, do you want to hear them sing when you're old? <laughs> Hear a word anybody say. Uh. Hey, what if Tim were to sing that? <laughs> Kevin Conroy back there on the drums, and of course, that was my favorite. You ready, Tim? The song's called Civil Lives.
song's called Dirty Fucker. Okay. 
Can you wish? Can you wish? Couple more of this. If you wish. Last one! Yeah, that's not gonna happen. It happened, man. We are loved ones, though. Yeah, my dad loves us both. I saw you play Jake three nights ago. You did? I saw that on a set list website. You played <laughs> This story is getting fishier by the second. Three nights ago, Three nights ago I was at home. Yeah, I was at home three nights ago. I played it, yeah, I did. I played it to my children. I played it up on the set last We would love to hear it. All right. But you know what that's gonna mean. <laughs> what does it mean? It's gonna mean you're gonna get home later. That's it! I definitely, I can guarantee you someone is here at the bar going, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The R bus only runs till 11 07. There's no bus here. <laughs> It's only 11 tonally, man. <laughs> you love 11 <laughs> Me too, man. Me too. Um, Alright, I mean, we can play it. Yeah! It doesn't have a chorus, I'm warning you. You think this song is better than it actually is. <laughs> Oh, we're not gonna play it loud. No. no. Yeah, you gotta listen. <laughs> if we're gonna play it, you we're gotta gonna, listen. We're gonna play it in a fashion wherein you're gonna be like, they should have put a chorus in that. Game. So, <laughs> this is like a uh, storyteller story. <laughs> One time we had a band. <laughs> I drank way too much. <laughs> And it blew up. Okay, um, but we got a couple songs out of it. And a couple great friendships. Alright, let's play it. I'm sick of feeling like I lost this fight. Sick of graying out the wrongs and rights. Pulling it out of you to clear my sight. Tonight, tonight, alright. If you can tell me every lyric in that damn chorus, and there's a lot of them, you can't fuck. I'm not doing this. I just don't think he knows it all the way. Like, like we 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 made another record after this one, and the Bouncing Souls guys helped us make it. And they said, "What if we were to, when we get to the part after the verse, just say something like?" Good idea. 
idea. I didn't listen to that shit either. Until way later. What an idiot. The thing is, you gotta listen to the song. I love it. All right. It just would have been better. Like, even if we put in, um... What, what would be another one? Of a similar type of genre. somebody who you're lucky enough to find somebody that cares for you. Try to cherish those couple minutes you get with them each week or day. Yeah. Grind the 
other human beings and not be on our phones or a screen and just do some singing and being together. I'll tell you what, it's good for the soul and uh, I feel like it's, an, it's something that might be going away a little bit and, and we hold on to it man. It's going it's to do us some good. Thanks again for coming out. This song's called Time Will Tell. Thank you. 